So uh, before I start, I would like to know how many of you are part of the solution architecture, solution engineers? One, two. So the most of the uh, talk that I'm going to make right now is my perspective from how the solution engineers looking into this uh, streaming SQL and stream processing. Um, at the same time, um, I'll be covering up the concepts that I understand from the solution architecture hat and the how these uh, concepts uh, apply to the um, e existing industries and how uh, streaming, um, stream processing is uh, handling those issues uh, by itself. So uh, I'm Wanji Kumar Sojodi and lead solution engineer of WSA2. So uh, at very first, I want to make a uh, um, a statement that what is the difference between a stream and table. Uh, for me, the table are pretty much like data at rest that's not uh, making changes at the real time. But the stream is uh, uh, observation of changes to the, uh, the table over the time is pretty much referred as the uh, stream. But in my opinion, the stream are more or less uh, data in motion. That's what I understand uh, by the stream definition. Uh, having said that, so the difference between uh, stream processing and um, batch processing, uh, pretty much batch processing or stream processing are very similar in terms of processing the data. But there are two major difference that I see, uh, especially with batch processing deals with uh, non-continuous data. So you have the data that exists with you already, and you have collected most of the data. And now you have set off um, a rule set and set off um, uh, things that you want to take out from there. So, but whereas the stream processing deal with the continuous data, which means you are uh, getting the data continuously, and but you have the set of rules that you are going to apply on top of that to make the decision. Um, but there are many complaints uh, with regard to the batch processing. Uh, the very first thing that I have noticed is the no partial answers. Um, especially when you have a, 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 a batch process that running, you can't have an answer in the middle. You have to wait until everything process, and you have to wait until like the t time that it takes. It may be a uh, minutes or hour or day, but you have to wait until the complete process is done. So until that, you have to wait. So one thing that I see is no partial answer. Uh, second one is, as uh, Suho highlighted, the most of the uh, batch processing require uh, heavy hardware requirements, including the processors and memory and uh, hard disk and so on and so forth. So that is another major complaint. I mean, but you, if you want to take a simple data gathering and if you want to uh, apply say, a set of rules on top of that and take a decision, uh, you don't need to have like 16 core machine and like uh, 16 GB memory with you. So that's one of the complaints that we, we are saying that. Uh, one more thing is um, limited at all or uh, ability to change ab capa capacity. So what that means is like you have a defined a set of rules and you have made the um, uh, regulation, but in the meantime, you are seeing that there is a need of change in that rules. But while the batch is processing, you cannot make any changes in the middle. So that's one of the um, complaints on uh, batch processing. Further, you, you will get all or nothing. There is, as, as I already mentioned, there is no partial answers. So it will be all or nothing. So you are generating some report. You have to wait until the report completely finish. And you will get that. If not, if you uh, stop the process in the middle, there, uh, there won't be anything. So that's one of the uh, main complaints that we see. So streaming SQL uh, is referred to a language that enables user to write like SQL-like queries for the streaming data without having uh, the right code. Uh, I believe Suho covered uh, that in detail, and Mohan will cover the uh, complete technical analysis on how that can be done in next session so that I'm uh, skipping uh, without explaining this uh, concept. Um, but 
from the solution architecture point of view, uh, for me, streaming SQL or streaming, stream processing got three different perspectives. One is the business perspective. So uh, to make the better uh, business uh, uh, decisions, uh, you need to operationally and business, you have to m monitor your activities and collect the data and run through your set of uh, 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 analytic process. Further, effectively communicate uh, with the information. So one good thing is uh, visualization and alerting mechanism. A uh, very simple example would be the ETL uh, or processing. Uh, further, uh, to get the business advantage, uh, and to give a m much more value proposition to your customers, you have to see the um, insights of what's going on with your business. So you have to have the uh, insight-driven products and services. Uh, the second one perspective is solution perspective. Uh, so one integration that I see is pull the data from various different data sources and you start to analyze. And the second one, once you analyze, push these results into existing flows with, uh, without any further uh, interruptions. Uh, the second perspective is you receive the inputs from multiple different uh, sources and flows, systems, application data. And once you receive that, you analyze through those informations and push the results to the existing flow or the system itself. Uh, third perspective in terms of uh, stream processing, um, you may have to work with multiple different protocols and formats. For example, it can be HTTP or JMS, it can be Kafka, or it can be binary or any sensors. So there are multiple protocols involved with one given use case, and there, there can be different uh, formats also involved. It can be like bytes, or it can be uh, JSON, it can be XML, any kind of format can get into the uh, system. Uh, to analyze these informations, you don't need to wait until everything collects and you start to run on uh, your rule set, but you can start to pre-process before analyzing the um, end data itself. So the second point that I would um, emphasize is communicating with these results using the same as uh, multiple protocols and formats. And finally, very important thing what I see is integrating with existing metadata and models and ex uh, extending the new analysis capabilities is very important in terms of when we design the uh, stream processing products. <coughs> So to achieve this, uh, what, in my opinion, th there has to be three different phases. One, you collect the data and analyze it, and then act according to that. So in order to collect these data, there can be multiple different sources, there can be multiple different protocols, multiple different formats. So like so that, you have different apps, services, sensors, and devices you are collecting those uh, from, uh, as inputs, and you are pre-processing that uh, by the edge analytics. <clears throat> and then what you do, you execute the analytic part through the streaming SQL and do the transformation or the complex event processing, um, streaming uh, anomaly detection and everything using the analytic part. And as a result, you will be producing various digital uh, outputs, uh, it can be APIs, or it can be different actions, or it can be different alerts or visualization. So this is the reference architecture I'm referring to. So we will discuss after this uh, about how these uh, collect analysts act in different industries. And I will take a few examples and business architecture, and we will discuss that. A uh, very important. Uh, industry that I see is the healthcare industry. Uh, one very simple example that I can take is there can be many multiple different um, healthcare providers. And let's say, for example, a patient who's subscribed with a given healthcare provider to monitor his glucose level or the sugar level. So there is a device given to him. So daily he is collecting 
the uh, information about his uh, um, uh, sugar level. And as a result, it's injecting into the, his subscribe stream. So when it collected, there are a set of rules where you run through and make sure that the person is not exceeding his or her uh, limits. Uh, for example, these information should be uh, collected and run within a given time period. Otherwise, if you are not delivering this uh, without any message loss, it will be uh, very dangerous. So one very important place is the guaranteed delivery. Uh, and it's also need to be uh, very accuracy in terms of millisecond accuracy in the real time. <coughs> batch processing, uh, in, with the batch processing also you can achieve that, but the need of uh, real time decision over here is very critical in, term to, uh, in terms of healthcare. <coughs> So over here, in the, with this business architecture, the patient's using multiple different devices to uh, provide the uh, information, and the, the patient data fed in, into uh, various different uh, systems. And the healthcare data has been collected, and we are running uh, different business rules and solution on top of that data to make the summarization. So summarized health, uh, healthcare data right now available as the various different outputs. It can be available as the APIs for your partners, or it can be uh, available as the dashboard for the doctors and for uh, different systems. And even patient device itself can get this information to see what uh, decision has been taken. <coughs> uh, the another industry that I see is the retail industry. It's pretty interesting industry in terms of um, uh, stream processing. Uh, especially when there is a, a retail stores or online stores, you are collecting uh, the, the uh, in the retail market, the customers buy the goods and the supermarkets uh, get the uh, stock loaded and restaurant place different orders regularly. So in this case, if there is a trend of, uh, changing the trend of, the stocks or items, uh, you have to keep on monitoring those and you have to pre-order the items, otherwise you will lose the advantage of the business. So for that, you collect the data information and continuously record that into the databases. And you should identify the different possibilities of the trends and relationship between the products ordered by each customer and predicted. predicted. And with those summarized data, you can possibly predict what customer is going to order and what kind of order is he's going to, he or she is going to attempt to do. And you also can make the reminder uh, to consumer on items may have forgotten with that particular order. So these kind of activities also can be achieved by stream processing. <coughs> so with that, we can consider this as the long-term aggregation the, and the time series incremental aggregation as well. So as uh, Krishna already told about this aviation story, so I usually travel a lot in aviation, and all the time I, I board, so I always wonder how the, all the aircraft are controlled properly and not being in mid-air collision. I'm 100% sure most of you have been uh, flying around to reach here. So interesting part, for example, FAA defined that each and every plane should be separated minimum 1,000 feet away. But if you do a simple calculation, uh, so plane can travel around 500 or to 600 mile per hour speed, most of the jets. Um, so in that case, if you calculate down per second, it's kind of 500 feet different. So which means within two seconds, there can be a difference in 1,000 feet. And if the, uh, the di uh, these change detection is not met, there is a chances of mid-air collision, right? So that's the reason the aviation these days using these kind of stream processing analytics to collect these data continuously. And with the uh, ATCs or air traffic controls definition of how uh, the, um, the instruction that given to the pilots will be fed into the system and those being monitored around. <coughs> uh, 
Uh, it's not only with, along with the aviation uh, ATC, but it's also uh, applicable for different other part of aviation. For example, the ticket booking. Or it can be also uh, applied to, uh, for example, a gate a seat assignments and a gate uh, uh, boarding process. <coughs> Uh, another very important uh, industry is finance. Uh, finance is very pre interesting, especially Suho talked about the credit card fraud. But it's not only stopped with fraud, but also it, uh, dealing with uh, identifying the complex patterns and how credit card being used, how we can offer different credit cards, uh, and you can see what kind of uh, trend set uh, moving on. Uh, another very interesting area is uh, ride share. So, for example, uh, if uh, uh, if there is a um, offer given to a driver, for example, if he drive for a day within five rides, he will get some kind of bonus, for example. But the same driver can work around with us and make some deals and get this uh, uh, hided. But there, there is a need of identifying this kind of fraud is very important. So that is possible with streaming, but there are different concepts uh, behind this, especially the complex pattern detection, and those allow you to how to find out these uh, fraud in real time. One more uh, uh, place that I see is the traffic, especially if you notice uh, around these cities, the, the car lights change according to the, um, uh, the traffic and the uh, car lights will, or the uh, signals will change. For example, when tra vehicle is traveling uh, through these sensors, the answers would be zero and one. So, but that's not more than enough to make a decision or turn on the car lights. So for that, you have to decode how these primitive data can be pre-processed and make it as a meaningful data. So for that, the streaming uh, analytics will help you a lot. Uh, I'm skipping uh, smart cities because the most of the uh, uh, part will be covered in the transport as well. So one uh, very good um, place in transport, for example, if you are a regular commuter with these um, public transport, you know that uh, the interruption of the service is very high. If you ha in order to get notification and everything, so you can keep uh, apply these stream processing technologies to uh, do the template management and notification management through the event-driven architecture. Uh, another very good um, industry is telecommunication. So this kind of um, industry need a, a rate limiting and throttling. For example, if all the uh, telecommunication uh, in the companies allow you to use unlimited data and unlimited uh, voice and text, that would be awesome. But to make the business, what these um, industries are doing, collecting the data in real time and applying these uh, pre-process and um, to, uh, complex event uh, pattern detections and throttling and uh, rate limiting us. So as you know, the most of the time, the streaming is everywhere. So you can apply the streaming uh, and streaming SQL in any industry, and you can find out how this can be done in uh, Mohan Stoke. Mohan will cover most of the technical aspect of how we are going to achieve these uh, pattern uh, detection and pattern matching, uh, how te uh, template uh, management uh, can be achieved. Uh, Mohan will cover. At the same time, we also have another session with the tutorials. We will show the demos, and it will be a tutorial session. But we are also seeing few uh, challenges with uh, uh, streaming SQL. So there are a transactional and creation of the model optimization, operational complexity in terms of deployment, and too many components. So we will also discuss in next two sessions how these complexities can be covered by uh, WSO2 stream processor. Thank you.